the multi business. Uh, this is something I started doing in the Philippines, um, and you can do it anywhere. And this is why I want to bring it up. I think I already have brought it up in some ways. What we have in the Philippines, or still have, is we've got apartments for rent. We've currently currently got two rented out. Um, we've got another one in renovation, and I've got another two I need to sort out and get it get them all rented out. So you got the apartment rental, that income coming in. The pace for pacer machines are coin coin slotted. PCs um, connected to the internet. If you imagine an arcade machine, all it is is a computer in a cage with a coin slot on it uh, that's connected to the internet. That's all it is. Bolt them outside, they make money. Pacer pacer machine, for two, well, they call it too big. Too big is water. You can do the same. Water machine in an arcade box makes money. These are passive incomes. When you rent their property out, they move in. You don't have to do anything for six months, a year two years, three years, whatever, it's a passive income. So pay some machines, you just empty them every week. Uh, sorry, every day, not every week. Do it every week will be empty for you <coughs> by somebody robbing them. Um, sorry, sorry store, which is a corner shop. We've got a corner shop where we are. Uh, my mother-in-law runs that. That sells beer, sweets, whatever, to the locals. Um, that makes another income, makes my mother-in-law independent because she runs that, that's her business. We just help build it up and left, left my mother-in-law to it. That generates regular income. Um, and then you've got the internet stuff. Before this YouTube stuff came along, um, we did blogs and the blogs made money. We did, um, well, the blogs still made money, sorry. The, uh, what else do we do? Online stuff we do for other people, uh, like freelancer, that sort of stuff, made the income. Don't do that anymore because the Indians have destroyed it. Um, I won't get into that because they, they just bug me. Um, and then you've got the call center, which become our big cash cow, um, which is still there, but needs to be built back up again. And I'm, I'm been in discussion the last couple of days. The two different locations with two different sets of people be going call centers in Spain because that's going to take off very soon. Now, the reason I bring all this up is if you want to get ahead in life, think out of the box. Every one of those makes an income. And I've had people go, oh, there's no money in there. Like the computers. Oh, the computer makes like £2.50 a day profit. Yes, they do. Um, but they make about £12.50 a day. And then your water machine will make another one, two pounds. Um, then your rentals will make you another 6,000 pesos each a month, if not more. Then your sorry, sorry store makes another 10,000 pesos a month. Um, then if you had space for backyard pigs and sold your meat black market, you could make another 3,000 pesos a month off that meat as well. And the list goes on. The whole point is the passive incomes make money when you're not there. And the thing with rentals, because this is, this is what people may not grasp, is when we first went out there, my income was very limited. I had 6,000 pounds in the bank, and I was actually trying not to spend any of it. I wanted everything built in the Philippines. Within a short period of time, the blog money was paying me out $100 every month. Doesn't sound a lot, but that's 4,000 pesos. We only needed 5,000 to live on back then. And then that is not a major thing. You know, you start doing it, but then it's making money, even though I stopped writing those blogs, it's still making money now. You know, the fact is, that's a passive income. And then you go and do something else. You get the war machines to make more money. You rent out. And they, you take this money and you've got a spare bit of cash. So you start building something. Um, for us, it was like um, I went back to work for two, three months in the UK. I come back. Um, I think I spent a month's salary on building the internet calf. Then there was 
I've put 15,000 pesos into buying some second hand computers. Internet car up and running, it's making money, ticking over, and with the money from that, we bought more computers until the place was full of PCs, and then we started building the peso peso machines, and then we started investing to get the apartment above it built, and then we rented that apartment out, and then that started building, bringing in more money. And this is what I'm saying this is passive incomes. Spain, the apartment I wanted to buy originally was 24,000, but the real estate agent says don't touch them with a the barge pole. Studio apartments are really hard to rent, minimum is one bed. So that budget has now gone to 40,000. I've got to find. I've got 6,000 already. I have about 9,000 by next month. Um, and I still got to find the other 30,000 euros. But I'm heading in the right direction. But once that's bought, I don't think I'm going to live in there. The first thing I do is rent it out. We'll keep this one on that we're in at the moment because we're happy with it. I'll rent that one out get 300 250 300 euros a week in high season or 300 euros a month ongoing and I use that money to buy the next apartment and once I have three apartments I then buy the villa um, that's that's how I work things and we want this three bedroom apartment it's not far from us is about 9,000 euros but I've got to get the one bedroom first then we'll get that one but we may live in that for a year after we get ahead um, but later on we'll rent it out drop back down to a smaller one for a bit use the money from that rental to buy the villa um, it's making money work for you and that's why these separate passive incomes are important in my passive incomes a month, I probably make thirteen hundred dollars. Um, has been as much as two and a half thousand. Um, I've also done stuff like data data wise, where I can make three hundred dollars a time. Um, but the fact is, these are all outside my day to day work. The day to day work is the bill payer, but progressive moving forward. Is always this extra money. Um, although right now, because we're in a good situation financially, I'm moving some of my day-to-day -day money and my working money into paying for these apartments because we want to do it in the next couple of years. Because you imagine you get two or three apartments rented out, and you got 900 euros coming in or more on a regular basis, you can actually retire because you don't need to work full time. I mean, when I say retire, I don't mean sitting around just waiting to die. I mean, like, I could actually just jump in a van and travel around for two years. <laughs> uh, but it all comes from building these things up in the background. And there's nothing to stop you doing it. One of the things I'm trying to encourage my brothers to do, because I sat around the house at the moment, my parents, is doing the car boots. There's loads of stuff you can buy and sell. Um, I'll give, you a, I'll give you an example of where to make money. Playmobil toys. You might go to the car boot and pick one up for like 10, 20 pence for a little character. That character is worth one pound to five pounds. Doesn't sound a lot, but you pick up a truck, you know, a camper van, Playmobil camper van, for car boot price, probably about two pounds, 53 pounds. You'll get 12 to 15 pounds online for that. You see the pattern. <laughs> you can wander around taking money from car boots and then sticking them on eBay. In the same way, you could find um, stock that you can take to a car boot on the weekend and sell. Or maybe there's something you can make. I've got a friend who makes um, wooden bowls. Um, he's got a wood turning equipment and stuff like that, so he makes these very nice bowls. He takes them to a arts and crafts show. He does that at the weekends. He makes them, then he'll go to one of these craft shows once a month. These bowls sell for a hundred, hundred to two hundred pounds each. Now, 
he knows what he's doing, fair enough. But you must have some skills that you can do at the weekends. And the reason I'm bringing this up is if you want to get ahead financially, you need to think out of the box. You know, on TV, you don't see people doing two jobs or three jobs, do you? They always have the one job and moaning about their uh, not having enough money in life. Or they've got so much money, they just smile all day, don't even talk about cash. Both scenarios are fake. The one without cash is probably the, the most genuine, but at the same time, why didn't they do something about it? And I know some people are in that same situation where it's hard to get ahead. And this is why I say passive incomes, because they're paying to set up, but once they're set up, it's money coming in all the time without doing us nothing to earn it. And that's why I recommend those. And everybody's got something they can do. Um, maybe you play the guitar, charge somebody ten pounds for lessons. You, can get, you know, you get kids coming along with piano. The bling, bling. Okay, there you go. Ten pounds. Go and do this. This is what you need to um, do for the week. Practice this at home. There's loads of stuff you can do. And doing those things, the main thing with those the incomes is do not spend them. Those are not for you to spend. That's to develop your funds. That's where I say. Mine goes into the apartments. Mine goes into stuff in the Philippines. Mine goes into stuff that makes me more money. And it all started with, well, it started originally with the blog. Um, I remember the blog where the first month was like, uh, I made $3 or something. And then it slowly went up. And then, okay, um, these videos. These videos, when I started doing them in... Last January, I did a load in January, um, just for a test run to see if there was any money in these. And I did like 10 or 20 because I was waiting for work to come through. It made $20 in the first month. Um, then you'll see I do like these little flurries of activities. Um, it's now sitting at about $55 and it's still going up. But more importantly, I don't mind doing them. I like sitting here talking or waiting my computer screen and getting some feedback on my stuff but the point is it makes money um, it's not the, the main net reason I do it I do it because I like sharing information but it's nice to get paid for something and it's not 55 this month it's 55 every month so the longer these these videos stay up as long as they stay up they'll be making money and that is why you do this sort of stuff there's money in it and like I said, I do this for a different reason, but I did it as an experiment in January just to see um, if there was money in videos. But I was, if you've already seen, I've got videos going back years, but I only really started spending a lot of time doing these ones um, recently because A, I started getting some feedback on it, but B, I like doing it instead of blogs because I'm sort of tired of writing. I've, I've done my tapping away the keyboard, so I don't spend as much time on those as I used to. Um, I can do these in the car or whatever. Um, and the thing is, I just talk, click, upload, and it's done. No hosting, no hassles. But like it says, it's also a passive income. And this is what I say, just spend a bit of time thinking what you can do. Get a bit of paper, and just sit down, list what you can do, and then think, what would people pay for? And the better ones are the ones that are passive, like this. It's done, uploaded. I'm not going to have to do a thing about it. It makes me money. The ones where you're doing gardening every Sunday for somebody can get a bit tiresome, but with something like that, I would actually look at, okay, I cut the grass. What am I going to do with that money to give myself a passive income? What can you do with it to actually push things forward? Because um, you could actually have a longer term goal where, I don't know, you buy a car wash with it or um, you buy valeting equipment so you can do cars and charge a higher fee for valeting people's cars than you would get for gardening. And then later on, getting a car lot and um, for car washing, 
and then later on getting three people in there to do the car washing for you you know passive incomes all right thanks for watching